Hey guys, welcome back. Today I will tell you about Pilot. So what is Pilot? Pilot is basically a study analysis tool. It analyzes your Python code. It analyzes whether in your Python code with proper prepared standard is followed or not. It also checks for the coding error as well as it also checks for the duplicate codes which can be present in your code. And at the end it shows it reports and also gives the scores out of 10. So it can be 2, 3 according to your code. So this is overall description of the pilot. Let's let's go to the our system and we see how to install pilot and how to use installation of pilot is quite easy uh, by using pip you can install you can directly install uh, pilot so the command is pip install pilot if you execute that command so it will automatically install pilot on your system since on my system pilot is already installed that's why it is uh, giving me the requirement already satisfied related error so if you go to the official website of the pilot so here you can see uh, see how to install pilot on different version let's say on debian so uh, sudo apt haven't get uh, install pilot so these are the commands which uh, varies according to system by system but by the way if you using if also you can install pilot by using pip commands or, or other than that you can also uh, install pilot using git command so these are the main methods and uh, these are the main methods by these you can easily install pilot okay here i have created a script and i will be checking the code quality standard of that script by using pilot so before executing the pilot command let's go to the official documentations of the pilot where it have provided all this necessary thing so here it have provided how to install the pilot how to run pilot uh, as well as the pilot output so here you can see the pilot output so uh, how the how pilot output will appear as well as messages control so you can sp specify the all the, so here it is specified the corresponding categories of the checks so it checks for the c c stand for convention related checks r stand for refactor related check w stands for various warnings and e stands for various uh, errors which can present in your in your code so when i execute my pilot command so i will get some messages and they will start with either c r w e or uh, f okay and as well as uh, here we we can specify the pilot which blocks we need to be disabled and which blocks need to be enabled since pilot is a customizable uh, tool we can customize it and we can add on plugin in the pilot so this is the one of the major functionality or we can say major feature provided by the pilot uh, to customize a for the for its customization let's uh, go to the or program okay and we will execute the pilot and let's see the output of the pilot so what what will be the output of the my program so here if i execute my so let's first clear the screen so if i execute pilot command over my script script.py so it is giving me the error c so if i go to the documentation uh, documentation so it is saying that convention convention related checks so my code failed in convention related checks and again the quality so the code uh, rate the rating of the code is 8.57 out of 10 let's say if i do some bigger mistake in my code let's see what happens so if i change the okay i if i again execute so as you can see here i am getting two types of error one is code convention related error and another is coding error related error so here e stand for error errors for portable bugs in the code and c stand for convention related checks now here my coding my rating of the code has been decreased earlier it was 8.57 now now it is 1.43 because of that error now let's correct it let's correct each error one by one and let's see what will let's see the updated coding error uh, let's say let's see the updated coding uh, 
report what will be the or we can say updated coding uh, rating cool so now this time i got 10 out of 10 and my rating increased by 8.57 after just correcting these mistakes now one more thing if you execute pilot command over there so if i increase my the screen size So it shows the various type of options. So we can categorize the options of the pilot using in three ways. So one is related, one is about the master. So in the master, we can specify which configuration file we want to use. Since pilot is configurable, we can specify all configuration files. We can specify or hook, we can specify or or plugin as well as we can specify the number of the processes of the pilots that need to be uh, run at the parallel so since there will be the problem that uh, our project is large and we want to simultaneously run multiple instances of the pilot so that it can be completed as early as possible so we can specify here a number of the process as well as the commands that are available in the pilot so if you execute pilot list and hyphen messages we can see the various types of the messages that are present in the pilot as well it as well as we can enable a particular messages and disable it so these are the uh, various things that we can do with the messages also the report we can specify how our report should be whether we want a detailed report or not we, whether we want a concise report whether we want rating or not so all these things can be uh, configured by the command of command line options that are provided by the pile link so we can specify the message template which message uh, message we need to use okay so let's do one more thing if i specify pile link, hyphen hyphen reports r-e-p-o-r-t-s is equal to y so now it will give me the proper reports how many lines of the code it analyzes what are the it will categorize the percentage of the code uh, how many number of the codes are there so it, it shows me the seven statement it, it analyzes seven statements uh, if uh, statistics by type so there is module is one there is module one class is there is zero method is zero function is two okay so yeah so it is percentage percentage of the document is, uh, documentation so 100 percent it is documentation and function name this raw matrices what is the raw matrices code doc string comment so how what are the percentage of the code what are the percentage of the doc string comment empty so all these things are there as well as percentage of the duplications whether they are a duplicate codes or not so we can see uh, what are the percentage of the duplicate codes which are present in our code and we can refactor that code so python have so pilot has also have this capability so it can show us that what are the percentage of the codes that are the duplicates and duplicates and how and how which codes we need to be refactor it so that's a very nice tool and really like it and and i most of the time i use pilot before submissions of the code i use pilot i check my error so it saved my time okay now it is error so messages by category so we can see there is not any kind of the messages we on we are not getting any kind of the convention refactor warning or error related errors because my coding is 10 because rating of the my code is 10 out of 10 great and since it this time it is 100 percent now and it is zero because earlier uh, my rating was 10 so please go through this documentations it will be quite helpful for you everything is doc properly documentations over over there if you face any error just refer the documentations and in the next video i will uh, show you how you can in the next video i will show you how we can uh, write our own plugin by the help of that plugin we can uh, add our own uh, uh, we can say we can add our own uh, validations okay so thanks for watching have a nice day